this video is probably going to be really hypocritical and that's just what my opinion is. A black person, we're going to go up to your face and smack the hell out of you because that's what you deserve. What's up YouTube? It's Sugar Amber back again with another video. And today's five on Friday is going to be a tad bit different. I'm going to be doing my makeup and we're going to be discussing the elephant. Will Smith smacked the out of Chris Rock. And I want to know, like, I'm going to give my opinion and I hope you guys comment down below and give yours. Me personally, I do. Hold on. Shout out to my sis Jade. I don't even know if this mask is um in stock or not but um it's called the recovery mask it has turmeric honey and a cranberry and cranberry um in it and it is amazing my dogs are being crazy but yes go cop it shout out to my sis jade so i'm about to be doing my hair and doing my makeup and discussing will and jada what first of all I did not know that um, Jada is, um, she has alopecia. I did not know that. But the fact that many people did know that and she uh, she discussed it. Like I don't watch, like I don't follow her or keep up with her. So um, I she's like obviously not in my algorithm. So I just didn't know. Um, so she has alopecia. And if you don't know what alopecia is, <laughs> Google it. But it's basically like a, like extreme hair loss, I believe. Don't quote me if that may not be right. But it's just something to do with hair loss. And as women, some women may disagree. But me personally, my hair, if my hair is not done, I'm going to feel insecure. If my nails are not done, I feel insecure. And it used to be my eyelashes. But I'm coming to just not be so crazy about having my eyelashes done all the time. Because it is a really big expense. Hold on, y'all. Where's my eyebrow pencil? I literally just had it. That's the only thing about having a black desk. Found it. Of course, my makeup. I'm not doing a tutorial. If you want to know the items that I use, just comment and I will list them down below. Anyways, why can I not find none of my stuff? I'm really insecure when it comes to like my looks mainly because i was bullied the bullying started like with family i wouldn't necessarily call it bullying it's just like getting picked on you know that's just what your family does you know and but mainly it started in um in middle school i did a video with my dad talking about my bullying experience but it's like it doesn't even show so i might put it on i might do a short on um a short on youtube to show you guys because it didn't like i recorded it from my phone yeah my dog is making so much noise i'm so sorry i recorded it from my phone and the footage didn't like i don't know it won't like all of it won't airdrop to my computer which is heck of annoying and then when i try to um like re just edit it on my phone on imovie it still won't work but i found out about this app called cap cut and i might just use it okay i'm so off topic <laughs> anyways back to what i was saying so will and jada at the oscars chris rock um, in case you don't know, if you don't know, you're <laughs> under a rock. But he did a tasteless joke to Jada. Mind you, he's always picking on the Smiths. Like, this is not his first rodeo. Um, this is something he constantly does. And it's like, I get it. You're a comedian. You're going to, um, go for the jugular. That's just what, you know, comedians do. And it's funny. But that joke wasn't funny. Like... I've heard cancer patient jokes. I've heard epilepsy jokes. I have epilepsy, in case you didn't know. And some of them I've laughed at because they were funny. But that joke, it just wasn't funny. It was just 
like I kind of sound like a hypocrite if I say that it's tasteless because if you ever make fun of someone who has epilepsy or make fun of someone who has cancer it's tasteless but a lot of times you're not making fun of someone you're just making fun of like the sickness oh well, alopecia is not a sickness but you're making fun of like the disease I don't know I don't know what it's what it is my face looks so dry but I don't know but um you're you're I don't even really know like how to say what I'm trying to say it was wrong you should not make fun of people who are going through things and allegedly there's so many stories allegedly Chris Rock didn't know allegedly Chris Rock didn't write the joke but none of that matters what I'm here to say and to talk about on this five on Friday is respecting your woman and defending your woman is there a such thing as going too far when it comes to defending your woman or your man me personally i don't think that it just it's just preference like i really personally don't think that it's too far like i i don't think you should be doing it up like doing the most like if someone says oh your wife is ugly i don't think you should just like shoot them you know like but i'm saying i me personally i don't think what will smith did was wrong he was defending his wife and then people because there's a there's like a clip out of him laughing at the joke and then you can see jada like rolls her eyes and then will all you see is him like walking all you hear is chris rock is like uh oh uh oh and that's when will is walking up to the stage but what I don't understand is why are people saying like, oh, he laughed and then he wanted to do something about it. Have you guys never been so mad that you laugh before you do something crazy? Because I know like when me and Terrence are like arguing or something, I'd be like, <laughs> you better stop. Like you see, like I'm laughing, but I'm dead ass, you know, like I'm so serious. So I don't know if it was that. I don't know if he did genuinely think that it was funny and then... He's seen his wife's, um, like, he's seen his wife's face. I was watching the reel, and Adrian made a very good point. And she said that she he probably were, was laughing, and then seen his, um, and then seen his wife's face and all the memories of her going through things that we don't see or we don't know about, about her hair loss, came to him instantly and was like, F that I'm about to go slap this person because this person's always coming for my family this person's always coming for my my you know my wife and or me or my children or I don't know if he goes for his children I'm just saying um if you're my dog is eating so she's smacking so sorry but yeah so I just want to talk about like it was that too far me personally I don't think it was too far I don't think it was too much because you should defend your wife at all times your wife should never like feel like you can't protect her and as a man why would you not ever want to protect your wife like what's wrong with you people are saying it's the oscars you should not have did that this is and then what really pissed me off i see a tweet that was like this is bet hip-hop awards behavior what is that even supposed to mean like the the white people don't fight white people do crazy things white people get people killed and they never find out about it a black person we're gonna go up to your face and smack the hell out of you because that's what you deserve stop talking about people i get it you're a comedian but it's like when if someone continues to like to my knowledge from the tweets that i've seen i guess they had had not an altercation but like a conversation i don't know i don't know how true that is but on some social media on twitter they were saying like oh he's asked him to stop talking about his wife before he still does it but okay if that's the case don't know for a fact but it's like it's only will smith is human like there's only so much that someone can take like me personally like i said i was bullied in um middle school and a little bit in high school as well there was only so much that i could take until i start snapping 
you know like me and my um cu my cousin we're like this to this day but we were not cool like we were not cool because i just felt like she would bully me but i would allow it because i wouldn't do shit about it why i don't know it's not like i was scared of her i'm just not confrontational i'm not a confrontational person today <sighs> my medication that i take um one of the side effects is like aggression so maybe you can say that i'm a little mm, mm. okay i am and i thank god for the people who are in my life who handle me because i know it's a lot shout out to the ones who mainly see my aggression my family shout out to y'all um shout out to my boyfriend because he be seeing me getting angry and then like that's not who i was when he first met me so i know it's kind of like oh okay but he handles it so well and so does my family and i really love all of my family so much and i thank you guys for you know not making me feel different you know and but anyway back to my um to what i was saying about my cousin she would uh, we would get into it and she would just be like really mean to me and I don't even know why. Like, she don't know why to this day. It was so stupid. We laugh about it now. I'm so grateful that we're so close now. We're, we, like, I talk to her, like, literally every day. I can tell her anything. That's, like, like a sister, honestly. And I just love her so much. And I'm so grateful for the relationship that we have now. But, like, there was only so much that I could take when we, we when we were going at it. And I finally, like, start saying things back. Like, you're not about to talk to me like this anyway. We, you know, just cousin stuff. We will be, not cousin stuff, because that's not normal behavior that we did. But just, like, stupid stuff. And it was, I finally start sticking up for myself, you know? And I don't know, like, I stuck up for myself. And then it just, like we just went to alabama and then i don't know we just didn't argue again like i don't know like i really don't know so hopefully with with um will smith sticking up for his wife that people won't make him the butt of jokes anymore but it's also like i'm looking for my my brush y'all i know y'all like brush you look on that it's also like what else do people expect the man to do like I'm I, I I genuinely want to know what do people expect his like if someone's talking about your wife constantly constantly always the butt of the joke it's only so much someone can physically take I cannot find my concealer brush how annoying um I'm just gonna do a light something I'm not really doing my makeup, doing my makeup. Maybe I just won't even outline my eyebrows. But yeah, there's only so much that someone can take. That's why I totally understand where um, Will is coming from. And, and my other cousin, she's a, she's more like a sister to me as well. Uh, I'm not gonna say her real name, but her you know what I'm talking about. We got into a fight. And we got into a fight because she just... It was only so much that I could take. Like, that cousin likes to just... Ne -ne 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 -ne. She likes to run her mouth a lot. She can't control it. Bless her heart. I love her to death. You know who I'm talking about. You watching me. I love you so much. But, you know, we got into it. And after that, we don't really go at it. Because I'm not an arguer. I'm not about to sit there and talk to you. People were saying, like, oh... He didn't have to, I found my brush. He didn't have to um, smack him. Violence is not the answer. True. Violence is not the answer. But it's only so much that someone can take. And I'm about to give you five reasons to defend. Why do I even have to give you five reasons to defend your wife? I was about to give you five reasons to defend your wife. You don't need five reasons. Defend your wife. Like, I know this is five on Fridays, and I usually give you five steps, five reasons. Five. This is something totally different. This is just, I'm talking to you, and we being real with each other, and defend your wife. Defend your husband. I do not think Will Smith was wrong. Sorry. I, I, I don't. 
I don't. I also don't think violence is the answer though. So call me a hypocrite. Don't care. But it's all. It's like. Okay, if this was the first time that he had ever made a joke about them, like, ever, okay. He would, he, like, okay, he did the most. He didn't have to smack him. But this is not his, like I said before, this is not his first rodeo. He has came for the Smiths multiple times. And it's like, you come for them at, a time that they're being their most vulnerable like she has you know the red table talk and they talk about their marriage and august alcina and things of that nature and people people be like you punched the wrong guy i'm just like they were in an open marriage open relationship whatever that man chose to stay with his wife why is that any of y'all business? Well, it's our business because they make it our business by, you know, bringing it to the world. I guess in hopes to help people going through the same thing. And also make money. So, that part I don't really know. But, I'm just going to keep saying it. He was defending his wife. And it's like, I just feel like... What would you have done? Someone really talking about your wife on on national television. Like for me pers honestly, if he would have sucker punched him, I don't think he sucker punched him, but if he would have did that behind stage and we found out about it, I would have thought Will Smith was weak for that because it's like he talked about your wife on te national television. Now defend your wife on national television. You get what I'm saying? Don't do it in private. He didn't talk about her in private. He did it on TV at the Oscars. Like what? It's not like number one, uh, um, what do you call it? Award show, isn't it? In the world or something like that? That's what I heard. Yeah, I know everything we, everything is he say, she, he say, she say. On social media you can't really believe nothing these days so and then people are like making this whole thing be like oh all black men they're trying to paint the narrative like black men are aggressive and angry and, and abusive no we're not we just stand up oh, i'm not a man but no y'all not y'all just stand up for your wives what you're supposed to do and i was talking to um a friend about it we were discussing the situation this nigga gonna say why would i defend something that's not mine that's his wife are you dumb are are you dumb are you dumb? I'm not saying like your wife is your property, but that's his wife. They're not divorced. They're not separated. They're clearly still together. Like, and then he he went on to say like if Terrence was, if someone was talking about me having epilepsy and Terrence knows how much I don't like having epilepsy now. I just have like, you know, like breakdowns sometimes and I like cry to him or my family or whatever. Whenever I may be going through it or like not having a good day. I, you know, tell my family about it or whatever. Sometimes I don't say anything to anybody. But sometimes I do talk to him about it. And he knows how much like it affects me sometimes. I've gotten better at it where I don't let it really bother me. But um, a comment was made to me before um, by someone. Well, two people actually said this to me. They, ha they hope I have a seizure and die. And it's like, damn, like you gotta be evil or really, really mad to really say some shit like that to someone who you know suffers from epilepsy. That's mean, you know? And when he, when uh, the my friend said that, it just made me think like, and he was like, he, he said that Terrence would be wrong he asked me he was like would terrence have been right or wrong if he were to do that if someone was talking about you and your epilepsy i said he would have been absolutely right because he knows my struggles and he knows he sees what i go through 
you don't love any and I told him you don't love anyone enough to do that and he was offended now tell me in the comments down below was that offensive personally I don't think so but I've also been told that I'm not the nicest person in the world and I also don't really care what anybody's opinion is but it took me a minute to get like that i wasn't always like so well let me not say i don't care at all because some people's opinion i actually do care why i don't know it just like affects me and i wish it didn't but um hold on y'all oh but it's so hard for me to pat my face and talk some people's opinion i don't care about but some people's opinion I do care about and it like I can obviously distinguish who and I do and don't care about but some people that I do care about I'll be like why do I even care about your opinion and I it took me a minute to realize why I cared about their opinion because I cared about them but then they didn't care about me you know and those people are no longer in my life but Oh my god, my ADHD is so bad. You see, I'm just like jumping from like, I'm talking about the same thing, but kind of from topic to topic. Anyways, what was I saying? That, oh. Yeah, I told him that he doesn't um, care, he doesn't love anyone enough to defend them in such a way. I said, you will only do that for someone that you really, really love. And unfortunately, you either haven't found that love or you just don't know what that love is. And he was offended. My camera just stopped. Um, I don't know what part it stopped on though. Anyways, my friend was offended because I said that he doesn't love anyone enough to do that for them. And I'm like, you don't understand. That's not just someone. That's his wife. That's the mother of his children like it's will and jada like come on now what he was like would you have expect him to do that i was like yeah he was like okay but what about the opportunities that he would have missed because he's a barber now no one's gonna want to cut him i'm like this is what you're failing to realize this is not just you know i mean celebrities are, are normal people but it's he's a celebrity He's gonna bounce back. Worst things have happened. People are saying this is the worst Oscars yet. No, it's not. Worst things have happened. There was a lady, I cannot remember her name, but she was, she won either their movie won or she, I think their movie, someone, she was nominated for an Oscar and she couldn't sit with her cast and her cast was all white. They were just talking about it on the reel, but I can't remember the lady's name. But, um,. Yeah, I was just like, wow. And they're trying to say that this is the worst. And then people are saying like, oh, a black man should never hit another black man. True, again, violence is never the answer. But if, if you just keep coming. Prime example, your mama and your daddy. I love my parents to death, okay? Me and my mama, me and my daddy, you come for them. it's a wrap it's over for you maybe not the first time because it's like okay first time shame on you second time shame on me third time i'm gonna let it rain on you <laughs> but it's just like you're not about to continue to come for my parents or my significant other and not expect me to say anything or not expect me to do anything there's only so much that a human can handle like at the end of the day people need to stop putting these celebrities on these pedestals they are human just like us they have feelings just like us just because jada doesn't go on instagram twitter or whatever and be like oh my hair oh i feel so ugly uh, uh doesn't mean she doesn't do that at home to her husband her husband sees her at her lowest her husband sees her when the cameras are off. So Chris Rock, you're wrong. You should not have did that. You should not have made her the butt of your joke. You're always making her, the that family, the butt of your jokes. Come up with something else. There's so much else going on in the world. Will and Jada are not it. For you, you just can only talk about them. There's like, what? 
You go in the shade room. There's so many people you could talk about, but you choose to continue to talk about them. And that's why you got your slapped, okay? That's just how I feel. Me personally. Don't come from my family. Don't come from my my uh significant other, my friend. Don't oh, I put this in the wrong spot. Don't do none of that. Like, people are like, oh, it was just tasteless and It was tasteless and all this other crap. Whatever. Will, he regretted it, you could tell, because of his speech. He apologized to, at the academy. But, I don't know. I personally would not have apologized. I think he apologized because of who he is. Stop. My dog is crazy. Um, yeah, I think that Will apologize simply because of who he is and because he probably had to. But I also that he I also think that he felt um bad. Like I think he genuinely felt bad. Like, you know, for slapping I don't think he felt bad for defending his wife, but I think he felt bad for slapping him on national television. I don't think if it was on national television it would have been that bad. People would have been doing all this. I think it's because we actually like seen the slap. People are going like haywire. But it's like, dude. What did he say? Keep my wife's name out your mouth. I bet he won't do that again. I bet he won't talk about them again. That's how you know it was just like a build up. Because it's like... Okay guys, sorry about that. I'm back. Um, I was on the phone for a minute. I did do some eyeshadow. And now I'm about to just bronze. But yeah, all in all, um, I still stand on my decision. I think Will was defending his wife. And then people were saying like, oh, I didn't watch the Oscars. This is all from hearsay. People were saying that someone else had made, um, Regina King had made made a joke or said something about about them or something like that. I don't know. And Will didn't. I mean, Jada didn't say anything. But it's just like we're not talking about that. We're talking about people are saying that Will did. It wasn't defending his wife. He was doing what he wanted to do to August Alsina again. You don't know what this man has done to August Alsina. Have you seen August Alsina anywhere? Okay okay we don't know we only know what they show and people are saying um that it was you know he directed his anger to the wrong person that's how you can heal that's not how i feel because we only know what they show again we don't know what he has did and then people are saying well if they did this perfectly why he didn't do everything publicly because everything don't have to be public okay like he was just like i just feel like people are entitled to their own opinions number one and people do things very strategically my dad brought up a point when he was like he will in the first couple lines of will's book he basically says that he's a coward and how his mom used to get beat up by his father and he wished to this day that i'm paraphrasing he wished to this day that he could have um did something about it we don't know what that triggered yes he laughed but you don't know what that la crazy people laugh before they do things i know because i'm crazy okay i'm just like i'm not crazy but like yeah sometimes like when i'm upset i do a little chuckle before i say something or you know you just don't know everyone is not the same everyone is going to react differently like literally no one is going to react the same no one is going to do this just because you're a woman not all women think the same just because you're a man not all men think the same that's what he chose to do in that moment and that's what he did and he has to either live in regret for the rest of his life or live with enjoyment for the rest of his life like why why does it even matter 
all of us are voicing our opinions. I mean, at the end of the day, what we say really does not matter. Like, we're all, everyone's all getting mad at, um, Will saying like, oh, you shouldn't have did this. Your wife didn't say anything when Regina King said something or whatever. Just because you, I don't know, man. Ugh, this conversation is just, ugh. I don't like having conversations like this because I'm very stubborn. And I feel how I feel and then that's just it. I I shouldn't be like this, but I tend not to care about other people's opinions because at the end of the day, you're going to feel how you feel. I'm going to feel how I'm feel, and that's just it. There's no need to go back and forth. For what? I feel like he defended his wife. Should he have slapped him? No, violence is not the answer. But I'm a hypocrite. Oh, well, I'll be that. On the flip side, there's only so much someone can take. If you are seeing what your wife is going through at home, we don't see Jada at home. We don't see what she's going through. We don't know. And people are saying like, oh, alopecia is spots. Okay, we don't know what her arms look like. We don't know what her hands look like. We don't know none of it. We don't, we don't know if she had body makeup on. There's a girl that I went to high school who had alopecia. She did not have spots or nothing like that. But she did um, have hair loss. It was very patchy. Who wants to walk around with patchy spots? So she started wearing wigs and she slayed them all. Jada just decided to cut all her hair off because why would you want patches in your head when you could just go bald? <sighs> and I just feel like some people are just reading into it too much. Like I'm seeing everything on Twitter. Like we're still talking about, I'm only talking about this for content purposes because I actually want to hear y'all opinions. I may not really care about them, but I want to hear them, you know? I'm not hear them, I want to see them. And um, if you do state your opinion, I'm not going back and forth with you, Pooh. Because, like I keep stating, you're going to feel how you feel. And I'm going to feel how I feel. And at the end of the day, I don't think anyone was wrong. People are saying Chris Rock is wrong. He should have sacked him back. No, I think Chris Rock did a good job as holding his composure. Maybe Will should take some, some tips. Because clearly he can't hold his composure. Clearly, my camera is not clear. Why? There we are. So I'm about to put my eyelash on. Also, people are saying like he's a comedian. That's what comedians do. Okay. But sometimes you're going to be funny and I'm going to be hilarious. What the hell? I feel like that's what you choose. When you decide to um, talk about someone's family, you better be ready in case they do something to you. You cannot, I don't care about being a comedian. You cannot just go around talking about people and expect them to never to say anything about it just because you're a comedian. The hell? That doesn't mean anything. My eyelash. Oh, I don't look that bad. Whatever. The corner is not really sticking. But it don't look bad on camera. What is? I don't really like this glue. This duo. Quick set. That's cool. But yeah, guys. Um, I'm about to do my hair really quick. You know, I am going to give you five reasons why you should defend your wife. Because she's your wife. Because you should. Because she's your wife. Because you should. And because she's your wife. But you can't pick and choose when you're going to defend your wife. Either you're going to defend your wife or you're not going to defend your wife. But also on the flip side, it's like sometimes you want to defend your wife publicly. But... You choose to stay quiet. Sometimes people say staying quiet is best. Maybe he decided, hey, I'll stay quiet for too long. Honestly. I would, if someone were, were continuing to make me the butt of their joke, 
when I say continuing, I don't mean like, oh, he's always doing it. But this is not, like I keep saying, this is not his first rodeo, okay? I have seen videos on the web of him talking about Will and Jada. The man's not going to yell out, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth for no reason. And no, I'm not about to go watch all his videos because I don't think that he's funny. Sorry. So I'm going to put this last on and end out the video. So all in all, um, this video is probably going to be really hypocritical and that's just what my opinion is. Um, I don't think violence is the answer, but on the flip side, I also believe that enough is enough. And me personally, um, Will clearly acted out of aggression and out of anger because he was just tired, like, and unfortunately, Chris Rock was the last straw. That's what, that's the perfect example of why you can't just be honking at people when you're driving or being rude to somebody while you're in line. Because you never know what kind of day somebody is having. And you could be that one. To just set them off the edge. Now, is that right? No. Obviously, that's not right. But that's just what sometimes people do. So, if you're going to be man enough to say a joke, even if you didn't write it, even if you did write it, whatever. You're going to be mad enough to say that joke. Be mad enough to get whatever comes back at you. That's just how I feel. Okay, guys. So, this is the end of the video i know this is a like controversial topic not controversial but it was just very like eh, it's one of those topics where you know a lot of opinions and emotions involved so um at the end of the day oh my god i forgot my my bronze y'all know i love a good bronze hold on at the end of the day i personally think that will was defending his wife should he defend his wife more often obviously because clearly people feel like he's not defending his wife enough like why did you choose like now to defend her he probably chose now because he's seen her face and was like you know, like, you don't know what happened the night before. You don't know if she, like, cried on the way there because she don't have hair. You don't know if she ordered a wig and it didn't come and now she has to wear her. I don't. That was scary. You just don't know. We don't know. We only know what they put out there. So for us to, like, really form an opinion on something we do not really know about is dumb we can't even really form a real opinion because we don't know what's going on behind closed doors because it's none of our business i mean granted they make our business they make their business our business so we only form an opinion on the things that we do know and from the things that i know and i've seen i feel like will defend his wife i also feel like violence is not the answer but i also feel like enough is enough so whatever you get from that is what you get from that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye.